Hello Dental Squad. Today we are going to learn some basic concepts or terms related to the medical science. So there are some basic terms that we need to know before beginning the main topics, the main stuffs. So here we begin. Beginning with the first topic that is anatomy. Anatomy is the study of internal features or structures. Okay, so the term we have to focus here is internal features. Okay, so anatomy is the subject concerned with identification and description of the body structures of living things, whether plants or animals. Basically, in medical sciences, we uh, read the anatomy of the human beings. Okay. Well, uh, this term anatomy, it derives from ancient Greek term meaning dissection or to dissect and it involves the study of structure of human body. So that is why we study anatomy. So the next on the list is microscopic anatomy and this microscopic anatomy, it is broadly classified into cytology and histology. So, uh, microscopic anatomy is defined as the branch of anatomy that relies on the use of microscopes, right? So, now we'll discuss about cytology and histology. So, cytology, if we try to focus on this term, then it is derived again from two words, cytos and logos, where cytos means cell, logos means study. So, here, Cytology means the study of structure and function of cells. Okay. The next is histology. Histology is what? It is again derived from two words, histos and logos. So histos means tissues and logos means study. So here we get the definition that is study of the organization and details of the biological tissues is called as histology. Now we have morphology. Morphology is what? It is the study of external forms and features. Again we have to focus here that external forms and features. So if we just take an example of uh, the morphology of tooth suppose. Suppose incisors. So they are somewhat chisel shaped right and canines are what? These are sharp and pointy. So that is how we know about the morphology of tooth. That is morphology means study of external forms and features. Okay. Next is embryology or embryology. Whatever you want to pronounce it, you can. So the science of the development of an embryo from the fertilization of the ovum to the fetal stage. You know the fact that what happens during the fusion of gametes, due to the fusion of gametes, a zygote is formed and then it gradually develops into an embryo. So, uh, embryology includes everything which is related to the development of an embryo. That is, from the fertilization of the ovum to the fetal stage. Okay. So, yeah, this was it. Now, the next important term is physiology. So, the term physiology was originally derived from the term physiologia, which denoted natural knowledge. So, the knowledge of physiology is important to appreciate the role of mechanism that controls the bodily functions. So, we can hereby define physiology that it is the discipline that deals with the bodily functions and their control. So, how can we relate anatomy and physiology in the best way possible? So, anatomy provides information about the structure, location and organization of different parts of the body that is needed to truly understand physiology. Together, anatomy and physiology explain the structure and function of different components of the human body to describe what it is and how it works. Okay, so that was it. So, there are many more terms or terminologies 
but uh, these were certainly the most important ones so i hope that you have learned something good today and yeah please feel free to pour your suggestions into the comment section i'll be glad to have them thank you so much for watching have a good day